Hey, so family, I'm back today with um, some channel messages that I got. These will not resonate for everyone um, because they're going to be specific messages for someone. Um, I have a fatherly or a grandfather figure, Caucasian man with mobility issues. Um, that were suffered as a result of a stroke. And this gentleman is saying that you have taken very good care of him. I don't know whether he is communicating just energetically because he can't speak because of this stroke or whether he has passed on from this plane. I did not get clarification on that part. But he thanks you and wants to say that he loves you very much. He hates or he hated not being able to communicate with you. He misses the long talks that you guys had, sharing hunting stories. And I'm hearing that he's a very tall gentleman, a gentle giant, loves his family very much. Um... But he wanted to get that message to someone. So if that resonates with you, leave me a comment. Let me know. Hit the like button. I also had a channel message coming through from somebody's grandmother. And she says that you have the fortitude to push through this difficult time. She wants you to know that they are all together guiding you, protecting you. And the name that was significant with this channel is like Lucy or Lucille. Take that as it resonates. If it's not your story, don't force it if it does not fit. Um, I also had a message someone's mother wants to send them or this is a mother figure a message saying that <laughs> you're smoking too much of that stuff she told you you were always overdoing it slow down and remember how she raised you the things she taught you um, about survival and the values that she instilled in you. She wants you to remember that, grasp hold to that, and use that as your catalyst to, uh, to help propel you through this difficult time. Um... I also got a message from somebody's brother who died on a motorcycle um, in an accident that was DUI related, driving under the influence. This brother wants you to know that he misses you. He knows he left too soon, but he's okay. He said that our last convo wasn't the greatest, but don't fault yourself. He says he was hard-headed or bullheaded. I was bullheaded. And he apologizes for not listening to you, but knows that he should have. Um, this person was in their mid 20s to mid 30s. Um, then I also got a very emotional channeling from three little girls, their ages 10 to 12. There was a black little girl, a white little girl, and the other little girl is either Hispanic or Palestinian. 
and they died in a school bus accident. They're together. They say they're together. They're happy. It didn't hurt as this was your concern, but we are well. They want you to know that there's lots of flowers, pretty pets and animals to play with there. They need you to be okay and move on. Um, they're just fine in heaven. Watching over you. There's everything there. And everything is so beautiful. So much love. And peace surrounds them there. This will not be. These messages are not for everyone. And they will not resonate with everyone. But it's okay. If you have lost someone. And you're dealing with the loss. Of someone. Look out in nature. Look for signs and synchronicities. Oftentimes, our ancestors, our loved ones that are passed on and moved on to other planes, in helping with your healing and helping you to overcome losing them, especially if it was a tragic loss, you they will send you signs. Look for things that will help you connect with them in ways that they communicated or things that they liked when they were here uh, on, on the um, in the 3D on the Earth realm. Um, like, you may see things that remind you of them. Tap into those things. Sometimes you'll get a message that way because they're always trying to speak to you. And people will try to tell you, well, oh, those are familiar spirits. That's evil. That's witchcraft. We've been taught wrong in a lot of ways. And there's divine help here for us. A lot of times we miss it because we are stuck in our limiting beliefs. You have to remove yourself from the old paradigm. You have to get yourself to shift your consciousness from your human consciousness to your God consciousness so that you're able to see there are spiritual things all around us, but we have been programmed um, to overlook these things, to not see these things, to ignore these things, or to feel like these things are demonic in nature, but that's not true. We all come from God, who is our source, and God is love. And nobody that you lost that loved you would ever do anything to harm you, would ever come to you in a demonic projection. That's not how that works. And if you are hurting, take time out and look for the signs and the synchronicities. Look for angel numbers. Look for feathers. Um, there are signs, revelations, guidance, in every single thing that you see every day. Embrace those things. Stop holding on to the limiting limiting beliefs and pray, meditate, and ask God to show you these signs and synchronicities. And the Spirit of God will do just that. Let go of what man thinks because man is programmed many times. I hope this message resonates with you. I hope this helps. If this is your message, I would like to hear from you. Please don't forget to leave me a comment, leave me a like, and I will catch you guys again on the next message. Thank you. I love you guys.